Hi, I'm Aaron Miller, Pioneer Agronomist in Northwest Saskatchewan. Today I'm in the field with Vic Kufer, Pioneer Sales Rep, and we're out today looking at a canola stand where, we're, where we have some frost damage. Let's have a look. Here we have some typical frost damage. You can see that the cotyledons have been affected where they've actually died off and, and uh, are not going to regrow at all. But we've waited about three to four days and you can see that there's starting to be some regrowth um, at, the, at the growing point. So this leaf here particularly is, is curled up a little bit which shows some frost damage. But you can see the green tip at the growing point right there where we've got regrowth. Um, looking down the row, we have lots of plants here that are in that situation. So at this point, we want we want to try and maintain the stand we've got. Make sure we keep the bugs and the critters out, and uh, these this crop will will uh, will will take off again with some good growing conditions. Here's some canola that's been severely affected by frost and will not regrow. You can see the growing point after three to four days on this plant is not green. Um, and you don't see any regrowth at all. Uh, so this plant is essentially dead. So uh, here you can see a plant beside it where, you know, all the codlings are uh, froze off, but you do see some green regrowth and this plant will, will live and still be productive. So at the end of the day, you got to assess how many of these plants are left compared to the dead ones. Uh, and you can see it can vary. These plants are side by side and one managed to live through it and one didn't. So. Um, at the end of the day, assess your plant stand, make sure that these guys that are living are free from pests and that they have an opportunity to regrow. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter for more agronomy insights.